All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadak here of Israel. I'd like to, Brother uh, Salaki, I'd like to start off by giving honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. All right, today we're going to go into Hebrews. Salaki, <laughs> I'm bugging. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, right, going into the Hebrew, right, lessons within lessons, like Elder Pastor says. And as always, right, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash, right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Let's get right into it, right? Like the uh, like Northern Kingdom says, you know, Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro, right? Let's get uh, verse one. Slack, yeah, I was just uh, looking over it, see if there's any words I should uh, go into. So this chapter is mainly um, the continuance of chapter 28, right? You have the blessing and the curse, right? For the most part, we, li we live the uh, curse. But now the Lord is bringing the blessing, right, to the nation of Israel, right? The so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right? Um... And as you read in the previous chapter, right, it speaks about what? Being tossed into another land, right? The outer, outermost part of the earth, right? Like it says in Acts chapter 1, right? I will give you the Holy Spirit. You will testify, right, here in Jerusalem, in Samaria, and up the outermost part of the earth. That's talking about Arsareth, which is... Uh, um. Acharath Rataza, right? Second address, right? Should come to mind. And um, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29 also spoke about Orsak Salakia. This chapter, mainly, you know, like I said in, in the previous lesson, right? You have Israelites scattered everywhere of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? They may, they look like, you know, some of our people look so-called white, so-called Chinese, right? So so when we get on Esau, it's because he has established his his riches um upon the sword, like the scriptures say, right? Which is forefather Isaac, white right, which is was a previous incarnation of Yahweh Shai. So like it. Yeah. Um So, um, the blessing of Isaac was what? That you would live upon a sword, right? For a certain, in a certain time, right? So this is what Esau has done, right? So like I said, it's not about color. It's not about how you look. This is about the spirit, right? So anybody that deals with GMS, anybody that deals, right, because I deal with the doctrine the DM GMS deals with, right? I'm not a part of GMS. I'm not affiliated with GMS. But their doctrine, right? I get the doctrine from them. And ultimately the scriptures, right? Which is what Yahweh Shai said. He said what? My doctrine is not of me, but of the Father, right? Which is the word, right? Um... So yeah, this chapter is going to talk about what I what I went over in the previous chapter, which is what Israel being scattered in all nations, right? And then and if you read the precept, right, it spoke about that as well, right? I'm not going to go over it. You can check the vi previous video, but th it's going to go over it in this chapter as well, right? Let's get right into it, right? Um. Deuteronomy 31, Wahaya, Kaya, Yabaawa, Alayuka. It will come to pass because you enter, or uh, they will come in upon thee, all the words these, call Hadabariam, Ha Alha, the blessing, Ha Baraka, and the curse, Waha Kuala. Um, Ashar, not 
um, Nathaya, right? Uh, which I will place before thee, La Panyaka, Waha, Shabbat, right? And, right, um, and you will turn back your heart, Al Labavka, meaning you're going to consider Bakal Hagawayim upon all the nations, or Salaki, in all the nations. Ashar Hadayaka, which you will be, he will drive thee out. Um, the Lord your power, Yahweh Alahayaka, hither, Shema, right? Wa Shabbat Ada Yahweh Alahayaka, Wa Shamaita, right? And you will return even to the Lord your power, and will hear. In his voice, Bakwalwa, Kakal, like all which I have commanded thee, Ashar Anakaya, Matazawaka, this day, Hayawam, to you, Ata, and your children, Ursulaki, and your sons, Wabanyaka, Bakal, Lababka, and upon all your heart, Wabakal, Napashka, and upon all your soul. Right? For Salaki, uh, in all your heart and in all your soul, right? But it's the same thing. Deuteronomy 30 and 3. Washab, Yahawu, Alahayaka, Ata, um, Shabwathka, meaning he will return the Lord your power to your captivity, right? Because the root word for Shabawath is Shabaya. Meaning captivity or slavery. Wa racham ka, right, and will be merciful unto thee. Wa shab, wa kwabatazaka, right, and will and will return, right, or uh, and will be brought back. And you will be gathered, because that word shawab means uh, to turn back or to bring back, right? Kobataza that that means gather, right? You and will, right? You will return, and so like and will return, and you'll be gathered. Makal ha amyam from all the peoples. Ashar ha payatazaka. Uh, which he will scatter thee, right? Payataza or Pawataza, which is the root, it means to scatter. Uh, the Lord your power, Yahweh, Alahayaka, hither, Shema. I'm Yahaya, Salakia. Deuteronomy 30 and 4. I'm, I'm Yahaya, Nadaka. Which means, um, if it be, right, um, right, if it be that you are driven off, or it's like you're driven away, right, Ba in one end of the, right, of the heavens, right, Hashemayim, Masham, from from hither or from there. Ya Kwabatazaka, he will gather thee. Yahawallah Hayaka, Lord your power. Masham, and from there he will take thee. Ya Kwaka, right? There, hither, same thing, right? Um, Deuteronomy 30 and 5. Right, which says, uh, let's get that actually. Actually, we'll, we'll just save that for later. Deuteronomy 30 and 5. Waha bayaka, Yahawa alahayaka, alaha rataza, meaning that he will bring thee, the Lord of your power, to the land uh, which possessed your fathers, Ashar, Yarashwa, Abba, Thayaka. 
right? Um, Waye Rashata, right? And you will possess, right? And it will be well unto thee. Wa Hayatabka. You and you will be multiplied. Waha Rabaka. More than your fathers. Ma Abathayaka. Abathayaka, right? Wamal Yahawa Lahayaka. Atha Labaka. Meaning that will circumcise. The Lord your power to your heart, right? To the heart of your seed, wa atha labab zaraika, right? The word ma mawal or uh, ma mal, the root is malal, meaning to cut off, right? You can be cut off from speech. You can be cut off in a sense, right? Uh, your your um your foreskin, the foreskin of your um uh, rod, right? And also, mala'a is uh, means to talk, right? It's another way to say, for example, amar means to say, the bar means to speak, naba means to prophesy, nabai means to utter, naam means to utter, right? So there's different ways to say certain things, certain um modes of speech, right? Zaraika or Slake. La Ahaba Atayahawa Layaka to love to the Lord your power with all your heart. Bakal Ababaka and with all your soul. Wa Bakal Napashka Lamayan Kaya Yaka so that you may live, right? Wanatan Yahawa Lahayaka Atha Call ha alawath or salaki call ha alawath, right? And we'll place the Lord your power to all the oaths, right? Alha means is oath singular, ha alawath means oaths plural. These alha ha alha, right? Because here is translated as curse, but alha does not mean curse. It means oath. Shabai means to swear. Curse is arar. And and another word is kwalal, but that means uh, to abhor. Or not to abhor, um, to lightly, to think lightly of something, right? Which the root is kwalal, which means literally means something light. Light bread. Light, um, as in weight. Al ayabiyaka upon your enemies, wa al shenayaka upon those that hate thee, ashar radapka, which uh, chase thee, right? Wa ata tashawab, and you will return, wa shamaita. You will hear Bakwal Yahawul, the voice of the Lord. Wa Shayath Atha, call Matazawath Yahweh, and you will do all His commandments. Ashara Nakaya Matazawaka Hayawam, which I have commanded thee this day. Waha, um, Thayer. Thayaraka, right? And he will bound unto thee, right? Because that word, the root word is yathar, meaning something abounding or in excess or remaining, right? And he will, he will be bountiful unto thee, the Lord your power, Yahweh Lahayaka, Bakal Ma'asha Yadka, upon all the sending out of your hand. Vaparaya batanka upon the fruit of your womb. Wa uh, bapar uh, bahamathka and upon the fruit of your beast. Wa baparaya um, adamathka and the fruit of your ground. 
Lataba Kaya, right, for good. Um, Kaya meaning because he will turn thee back. Yashawab, Yahawo meaning the Lord, right? Lash Lashash meaning to delight upon you. Alayaka, right? For good. Latawab. Ka Ashar Shash. Like which he uh, delighted upon your fathers. Al Abatayaka. Verse 10. Kayata Shamai. Um, because you hear Pakwal Yahawa Alahayaka La Shamar Matazawath Yahwa, right? Because you hear in the voice of the Lord your power to keep his commandments and the statutes, Wahakwath Yahwa, right? Which are written, right? Ha Kataba, right? Which it literally means the writing in the book, Basapar, Hathawara, right? In the book of the law, this, Haza, Kaya Shawa, because you will return to the Lord your power, Al Yahawa, Alahayaka, Bakal, Labavka, upon all your heart, Wabakal, Napashka, and in all your soul. Right? Kaya ha matazawa hazath because uh, what, which, what was commanded this um, Ashara nakaya matazawa ka which I have commanded unto thee to this day Hayawam <clears throat> Laa napalath napalath It is not extraordinary Right, meaning too hard or right. The word pala means extraordinary, wonderful, extraordinary, right? Or too distinct. Make a dis make a distinction. Right? So it is not extra extraordinary, right? Hawa that is unto thee or of thee, Mamka Wala'a Wakaka. Rachakwa, right? And it is not a far off, that is. Right? Or it is. But that is, it's just, it sounds better. Deuteronomy 30 and 12. La Abba Shamayim, Hawa, La Amar. Right? It is not in the heavens, right? That is to say, Maya, meaning uh, who? Ya Ayla Lanawa, who will ascend up uh, for us to the heavens, Hashemayama, and will take it, Wayakwak, uh, to us, Lanawa, right? Wayashemay Nawa, and we will hear, right? Uh, to it, atha, and do it. Wana aishana, right? And we will do, and we will uh, perform it, right? Wala ma aibar la yam. It is not beyond the sea. Hawa, that is to say, la amar. Maya ya aibar la nawa. Who will go beyond for us, right? Al I bar Hayam to go beyond the sea. Lock in. Right? Why you quack ha? Why you quack ha? Right? And we'll take it uh, for uh, unto us, Lanawa. And we will hear why you shamai Nawa. Right? To it. Atha and perform it. Wana Aishana, right? 
Kaya Korab Al Yaka. Right, because it is near unto thee, the word Hadbar. Right, Maad meaning uh, uh, diligence. Right. So the scripture is also known as Hadbar Maad, meaning the word of diligence. Right. Ba Payaka, meaning in your mouth and in your heart. Waba Lababka. To do it, la ashathwa, right? So it was never about going to the heavens, you know, taking a uh uh, you know, like how you I see, you know, we gotta go worldwide. No, the Lord has set up the internet to do the work for us, right? The Lord sent out uh, decoys, like one of the brothers said. I forgot who said it. You know, there's gotta be pawns. Right, you know, um, and a lot of you camps, you know, you you got you got a whole nother. You don't got the spirit of the Lord. You got the spirit of of um, uh, um, marching. You got to you got to, you know, you're on that civil rights spirit, right? You're on that uh, um, you know, you know, you got certain Jakes, you know. They got a, uh, like the others say, yabba dabba do spirit. Yabba dabba, you know, like, speaking in tongues, like, you you know, all of a sudden, people know, people don't know how to fucking talk, right? Uh, sound like, you know, little ass, retarded, uh, kids. Ass. You know, like the Lord is not dealing with that, man. The Lord set you up to teach, right? So you can, so you, so you can deceive, right? The scriptures say what? The uh, deceived and the deceiver are his, right? And the scriptures say, what's that in Ezekiel? If there be a false prophet, I have raised up the false prophet, and I will destroy him and those that hear unto him. Right, so the Lord raised these other camps to get their followers to follow them, and they're not going to know what the Karagma is. They're not going to call upon Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and you're going to be destroyed. You're going to die. You're going to die a horrible death in America, Babylon, great. Simple as that. It's not. It's not deep. It's not. You know. You know, and it's not. It was never about the law. It says in the Book of Acts that. How can these uh how can we bear a yoke that our forefathers could not bear? Right? It was never about the law. The book of Jeremiah says, it will, I, I delighted not in Psalms, I delight not in burnt offerings and or sacrifices. But those that fear my word, those of a contrite heart, those that obey my voice, the voice is what? The prophecies. Your righteousness is, is not of the law. You will not be delivered because you keep the law. We establish the law, but um, the elders recently did a lesson, right? And there's good points. There's certain points they made, right? Actually, let's get that, right? Because IUIC IU talks about the law, the law, the law, but they got, they transgressed the law, like what does it say in Galatians chapter 2, right? Why should I destroy those things in which I built up when I myself am become a transgressor, right? So like, yeah. Um, let's get that real quick. What is it? Apostles, apostles. So like, yeah. Let me just go on the um on the main channel. Right? just gonna bring out the points right and I got him saved right here 
in the comment section. Watch this, right? Timestamp 2740. Uh, the breakdown, because, um, you know, Elder Pasta always says we got to go into a chapter breakdown. Right. And apparently I learned also that uh, Kyrie is, is uh, he's not a Gadite. I thought he was a Gadite, Salakia. He's not a, 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 a Sioux. Uh, or you would say, some would say uh, Syox, Syox tribe, right? Um, because his mother's a Gadite. His father is actually uh, Judah. But check this out. Just watch this. Right, so we're under the laws of this land. Romans chapter 13. We're not the the uh, uh, the Jews under the law of the Romans back then as well. So there's certain things they couldn't put people to death themselves, which is why they went to Pontius Pilate to deliver up Yahweh Shai, right? Yeah, you have these other camps saying the law, the law, the law, but they, you know, and and they're transgressing the law. But the point here is, right? We're subjugated to certain things, right? Meaning we can't keep the Sabbath perfectly. Fringes, right? You, you, you know, you, you know, um, when, when the fringes is really about circumcising your heart, right? Like I'm going to read in this chapter, right? Amos, I believe chapter, uh, chapter two says, rent your uh, heart and not your garments, right? Zechariah 13 says what? That um that the that those that would speak the truth right would prophesy in sackcloth. Revelation chapter eleven, right? And those that right, those that are going off, right, they're gonna be they're gonna glory in worldly things, right? And their um and their uh, fancy garments, right? But Salakia, um, you know, so the law is not, that's not the end all be all. The point was, Jeremiah, I believe it's chapter 7, it says, right, it was never about sacrifice, burnt sacrifices, right, but in obeying the voice of the Lord, right? So you had the law, you had Moses prophesied about Yahweh Shai, right? Deuteronomy 18, which says, Right, I'll put my words in his mouth and you will obey him, right? Obeying what? What well, Yahweh Shai spoke about that would happen in the latter days, right? Like Paul the Apostle said, you know, a foreshadowing, right? All those things were a foreshadowing of what would happen in the latter days, just like Deuteronomy, 20, Deuteronomy 29, Deuteronomy chapter 30, right? By the Lord, they didn't they have to get uh, permission from Pontius Pilate? Yep. They couldn't just say, well, let's just kill the guy. Right. They had to go to Pontius Pilate, and he said, put it Pontius So if you're not learning, like these other camps say, you know, oh, we, we don't learn nothing from GMS. They say the same thing. You're not paying attention. Pilate say, now we don't know if he was a Jake right. of a high position or either one. Right. You don't know it, so don't tell me, yeah, I know what it is. No, don't tell me that, because you don't know. Because right. you had a lot of Jakes in high position yep. back then. All right? That's right. Very high position, to the point where we even... And that's what you have Jake doing today, right? They, they uh, sell out 501c3, right? Meaning they're tax-free like the church, right? IUIC is, is uh, their, their uh, 501c3 organization application is under um um the religion they is it's under islam 
You can look it up. I'm not making this up, right? So you had Jakes back then that, like it says in the book of John, they feared that the Romans would take their place, right? So what they did, right? They taught the law, but they were they were hypocrites, right? The, the Caesar, Caesar's position yeah, and the, 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 the Senate and the council. Just like we're doing now, man. Yeah. I got a precept. Uh, this is the book of 1 Timothy 1 and 6. It says, from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain jangling. Desi you can read down here while, while they're out. Um, you can pause the video and just read. I'm not going to read all that to be teachers of the Lord. That's the vain jangling that the Apostle Paul is talking about. By the way, this was a letter that Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy. And he was he was giving Timothy the lowdown of certain guys that really didn't have the spirit. They didn't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And this is what he said. He said, for which some have been swerved. Swerved from what? From the pure doctrine of Yahweh Shai, which the Apostle Paul held. He held the pure doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So he said, from which some have been swerved from that pure doctrine, right? Have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor whereof they affirm. And we've seen that now with this group. They desire to be teachers of the law, but they don't understand what they, they don't, say. They don't read the law. They don't understand right. the law, all right? There you go. They don't understand the law. You know what? Go to Galatians. You know what I want? Galatians 1, 6. And you got to understand, it's not the law that's going to save us. The law is not going to jump off the throne. Right, the law is not going to save you. Deuteronomy chapter 30 says what? It is not afar off, but it is the word. Right, meaning take heed unto the word. Know what the kragma is. Know what the name is. Know what will happen. So you keep an eye, like Yahweh Shai said, watch and pray that you live to see the coming of the Son of Man. Right? Measure the time diligently within itself. Second address, right? And come down here on the planet Earth and, and, and scoop us up, man. That's why, that's why the Apostle Paul called the, Galatians, the church Galatians, Old Foolish Galatians. Right. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. I marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you as a slavery. Right. A Hebrew man can have a number of Hebrew Tell me more about this tree. Slavery. As you read down in that same chapter, because that show that proves that you guys don't go into the law. You don't read the law. You just read a bunch of scriptures, you go in there, prophecies and stuff, you read this, right. you might throw a little law in there. Yep. You guys don't study the law, but you would know, you would know. You would say, you would say, look, you would say, look, there is a law on that, but we shouldn't be doing it now because we're under this man's system. Right. Don't you know? Right, and that's what I do. Right? That's what the that's what the Lord said. Right? He who teaches the least of the law. Right? So we're teaching the greatest and the least. Then that includes the grape doctrine. And it's not a doctrine, it's a law. Right? The law that if you speak, see two men lay together like, like a, a, a man and a woman, you're supposed to put them in devil. Now, are we doing that? No. Hell no. Because we're not under our system, our, our rulership. Yeah. He still has rulership over us. Right. So there's certain things you can't do. Because, because yeah, you're yeah. under the yeah. laws of this man. Just like you, yeah. so just like you under oath. When they crucified the Lord, they didn't have to get uh, permission from Pontius Pilate. Yeah. They couldn't just say, well, let's just kill the guy. Right. They had to go to Pontius Pilate. Right. So that's pretty much it for that. Right? But let's get back uh, to the word. Right? Deuteronomy 30. Right? Um, Salakia uh, 13. Right? Which says what? Uh, Um, take it, observe it, verse 14, it's like, yeah, we already went to that, Let's see how many verses we got left, 15, I think that was it, damn, that was quick, 
Man, I could spend more time on uh on this topic then. Deuteronomy 30 and 15. Ra'ah, Nathaya. Um Ra'ah Nathaya Lapanyaka. See I have placed before thee this day Hayawam. Uh to life. Ata ha chayayam, wa ata ha tawab, and to good, right? Wa ata ha mawath, and to death, wa ata ha rai, and to evil, right? Ashar anakayu matazawaka hayawam, la ahaba, which I have commanded unto thee this day, to love, to the Lord your power. To walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments or slaki his ordinances and live Wa Rabayath and be multiplied, right? Wa Baraka and will bless thee, the Lord your power. Yahawa Alahayaka, Ba Rataza Ashar Atha, in the land which you are going in hither, Ba Shama to possess. La Rashatha, right? Wa Am, Wa Am, Yapana, Lababka. And if you turn your heart, Wala'atha Shamai, and will not hear, right? Wanadachta, right? And will be driven away, right? Waha Shatach Wayath, right? And will uh, um, uh, um, bow down to God's others, La Alahayim Horyam, and serve them, Wa Ibad Tham. I bought the ma, right? Um, Hag Gadtaya, meaning uh, I te I declare, or slaki, I reveal unto you la come this day hayawam kaya abad because surely. Ta abad one, you will perish. La'a ta arayakan, and you will not be prolonged, right? Uh, your days, yamayim, upon the earth. Allah adama, ashar ata ibar, which you are going beyond the Jordan. Ata hayaradan, right? Um. La bawa'a, meaning uh, to go in or select it, to enter there, shama, to possess, or really means to go in hither to possess, right? La rashata, right? This is Moses uh, speaking to the children of Israel, right? Waha idathia, meaning I testify upon you, but come. Uh, Hayawam this day, right? Atha Hashemayim, uh, meaning uh, to the heavens, right? Wa Atha Harataza, into the earth, right? Ha Hayayam, right? Uh, life, Waha Mawath, and and uh, death, right? Wa Nathathia, right, and I will place before thee, Lapanyaka, the blessing, Habaraka, and the curse, Waha Kualauha, right, Wabaharath, and choose upon life, Bahayayam, Lamayan, so that. You may live, Tachaya, uh, Atha, meaning you, 
and your seed, Wazarai Ka. Right? La Ahaba Atha Yahawa Allah Yaka to love the Lord of your power. La Shamai Bakwalwa to hear in his voice. Wala the Bak the um Dabaka Wala Dabakwa Salakia and to uh um hold fast upon him Mbawa Kaya Hawa because he is your life Haya Yaka and your length and length Wa Arak Um, and be lengthened your days. Yamayaka. La Shabbat to dwell. Al Ha Adama upon the land. Ashar meaning which. La Shabbat Yahweh. La Abatayaka, which he has sworn the Lord to your fathers. To Abraham. La Abar Abarham. La ya tazachak to Isaac, wala ya aikwab, and to Jacob, la thath laham to give unto them, right? So that's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, right? The video is pretty short, right? Basically, you know, and that was the point. That uh, Elder Pastor and Elder Pukapar made, right? Which was what? The fact that we we could never keep the law perfectly, right? And these camps are not, you know, they're they're neglecting the 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 weightier matters, like uh, Yahweh Shai said. Justice, judgment, mercy, right? Mercy is what telling your people the whole truth, what the Karagma is, the Lord's name. Right? Um, justly dividing the word of God, right? Showing you what's in the law, showing you what's in the so you showing you certain laws that, that you can't keep because we're in captivity, just like in the time of Rome, right? Which is why Paul the Apostle touched upon these things because he had a deep understanding of the law, right? Now was shy had a, a deep understanding of the law, right? So we're subjugated, right? So let me just read this. Good point, because that's exactly what Apostle Paul was speaking about. Romans 13, the law of the land. Because we're subjugated to Esau's ordinance, subject to his rules, hence why the scriptures speak about the yoke of bondage, will be broken when the elect are delivered, right? Subjugation, online etymology dictionary, late 14th century, right? From late Latin, um, subio ge geishunum, noun of action from past par uh, participle, part partis partis participle, stem of Latin, um, subio ger. To subdue, literally to bring under the yoke. Isaiah 10 and 27. On that day, the burden will be lifted from your shoulders. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. And in that day, in that day, his burden will depart from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. Right? Which is why Paul the Apostle said what? Right, uh, the creature hastens to be delivered. Right, the whole creation groaneth. Right, which is why you see all these things happening. You have recently in North Carolina, you know, some maniac, some wacko, attacks, you know, the power lines of uh the city in North Carolina. So they declared it an emergency over there. Right, so you got you know you got wackos. Running around, you got bug outs. Esau is all bugged out because he knows he's finished. You know, he knows he knows that that blood is, is coming. 
You know, your, your blood, it, you know, your blood is required, period. Right? And there's nothing you can do. You can, you can, you can, you can persecute us. You can, you can do whatever you want. The Lord is, is, the Lord's still coming back. Right? You're going to, you're going into slavery. Right? And then you're gonna you're we're gonna put you in the pile and and you goddamn devils are, are gonna be done away with. And the whole world is gonna rejoice. Right? And they're gonna be in the kingdom of heaven as our subjugates, as our subjects. So you other nations, you'll have your own land, you'll you'll be with your own people, you're not gonna be mixed all mixed up, you know, all confusion, right? We're gonna have you in your own land. You know, you're going to have real food, but you're not going to have the power that we're, we're, we're going to have. We're going to be super, super uh, uh, Israelite man, women, and child. We're, we're going to be angels on planet Earth. We're going to be superhuman beings. Well, you're not going to be the same as us in the kingdom of heaven, you other nations, right? After we, we get rid of these, these, uh, um, fucking animals, right? And you other nations, you know, you're going to be amongst your people, you know, you're going to rejoice, but you're still going to go off, which is why we're going to be there. The elect, the whole nation of Israel, we're going to be there and we're going to whoop your ass. Right? Forever and ever, amen. Right? But you're gonna you're still gonna be doing a lot better. Right? Than you are now. You got Elam and in, in, in India baiting and shit. You got Ethiopians rotting rotting away because of this fucking devil. You got ham still drinking piss, eating eating doo doo in Africa. You got uh, Ishmael um, um, still uh, uh, slap you know slapping the shit out of his wife. You know you got Ishmael still you know kissing a fucking rock. You know, you got uh, uh, Moab eating anything, right? Cats, bats, rats, rat soup, cat soup, bat soup, bat soup, uh, uh, cats with rice, you know? So all that is, is, is going to be, it's not even going to be remembered, right? But the point is, right, we have a certain charge, right? We were given the scriptures, which is more than just the law of the law, right? It's a whole way. It's a whole mindset. It's a whole way of life, which only the elect are going to receive and decide either way, right? So all you other nations trying to touch our Bible, touch our word, copy the scriptures, right? You have nothing to do with You have nothing to do with this. Right? You don't even know what the Bible says, right? Because online, this is why I put this comment. Because online, there, there's a certain individual that said, oh, they, they say you can beat your slave in the Bible, which is why I posted this. Because it also says, Deuteronomy 23 and 15, Thou shalt not deliver unto his master the servant which is escaped from his master unto thee. He shall dwell with thee, even among you in that place which he shall choose. Choose in one of thy gates, where like him best, thou shalt not oppress him. So we're not just going to, in the kingdom of heaven, beat these other nations for no reason, right? If they're not keeping the law, then we're going to assume authority. They're going to have to uh, assume the position, right? And not in that kind of way. You know, they're going to be, their head is going to face the ground. And they're gonna, they're gonna, right? First, they're gonna bow to Yahweh Shai, because all these will bow, 
right? Because he comes in, he's going to be on earth as a representative of the Heavenly Father. Because Heavenly Father doesn't have to get off his throne, right? Scriptures say that what this existence itself cannot contain his whole be his whole being, right? When you see you know Esau, he takes pictures of those galaxies. That's just a a uh, um that's just a, a hair in the in the Lord's in the Lord's uh, whole body of work. That's just a, that's just a little a little speck of what the Lord actually is Yahweh the most high God right so yeah you know you you know you you other nations you don't have no understanding right but you're gonna you're gonna you're in that day you know uh Yahweh Bashim Yoshai Rataza right if we're of that number right first you're gonna bow to Yahweh Shai then you're going to bow to the 144,000, right? The angels, the, the elect, the first fruits, whatever you want to call them, right? Uh, uh, the first begotten children of the Son, of the Most High, right? And by Son, we mean creation, right? Don't get it confused, right? Because these... Wacko Ishmaelites will say, "Well, God can't have a son. If he had a son, that means he had a wife. He had a wife. Uh, uh. All retarded, right? When you say the son, we're talking about the first begotten creation, and then you have the ministers. Do so you have the blueprint, which is the Lord has the blueprint? You have the foreman, Yahweh Shai. You had the angels, right?" Which were the workers, and they created man in their image, right? And that's that's just it. It's not really deep. It's not, you know, you don't need to you don't need to learn Taiwanese, uh, you you and to understand this, right? So I wrote down. Um, funny how people love to highlight the fact that you own a slave and could smite him, and if he survived. Nothing would happen to you, but there's a law also which provide a haven for slaves who were mistreated, but that just proves that they don't actually know the law or the Bible, right? Esau and your other nations. Exodus 21 and 20, And if a man smite a servant or his maid with the rod, and he die under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he continue a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his money. You're going to be our money. We're, you know, when you go off, we're going to, you know, because you're still going to have Ishmael, you know, you know, trying to, trying to kiss a rock, you know, we're going to slap the shit out of him, right? And if, and if he doesn't die, which he's not going to die because we're, we're going to be all righteous. We're going to keep the law perfectly. We're going to have the law in our inward parts, right? We're going to slap the shit out of him, Right? And he's going to be punished, right? But he's not going to, we're not going to kill him. Because that's like, that's your money. Right? So yeah, when Ishmael goes off, we're just going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to bitch slap him. Not literally, you know, that just means we'll correct him. Right? They're going to, where's your fringes, Ishmael? Pow! Right? Next time I see you, you, you better have your fringes. Right? And I, w I, want, it, I want you to sew it with the words Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? Ibad, slave. Ma, um, Ibad, Ma Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, slave of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Tachath, meaning under Ha Yasha Allah, under Israel. Right? All right, Ishmael, so make sure you do that. All right? And to all Moab, you know, stop eating them, them rats. Or we're going to send, you know, uh, you know, uh, 30,000 30, chariots, right, to decimate that land, right? 
And we're not going to do that because, you know, we're just going to correct them. We're going to make sure everything is in order in the right way, right? There's going to be contentions, right? In the kingdom of heaven, right? Moab might have contention with Ammon or concerning a border or a contention, right? We're going to set up, right? The body of people, right? They're going to they're gonna plead their cause. One side is going to plead their cause and we're going to say, look, this is what you're going to do. You're gonna, they're going to do it, period. They're not going to say, what? Excuse me? Because they're just not going to do it, right? Because we're going to be uh, like God in that day, right? And we're going to judge righteously. Not like you other nations, you hypocrites. Not like you Edomites, because you just, you're just off. You're the wicked, right? We're going to do it according to the, what the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai says. And the house, the king, the uh, throne of David, which is the house of David, right? The thrones of David, right? The apostles are going to be there, the 12 apostles, right? They're going to say, do in this matter, Yahweh Shai said, right? Uh, Yahweh and Heavenly Father said, right? Twelve apostles are going to say, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai said, you know, this is what should be done, right? And the twelve apostles are going to command, right? The, uh, the 144,000, we're going to command the people, the people are going to gather, right? And do what, was, what should be done, right? And the world will flourish. Scriptures say that the the, the earth will will be a giant garden, right? It's not going to be weapons of war, right? And and, and we're going to put a foot up your ass, you you other nations, all the way up your ass, right? Bashim Hamashayach Hamashayach. Yahweh Shai, right? So anyways, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, right? Going into Hebrew, lessons within lessons, right? Giving honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha-Raka Kodash. It's Brother Yotazadak, Hero of Israel, Lord willing, you ratified. Kwame Asha Allah, Bada Baal, Shalom.